Hello again. Back with some more Valiant Thor facts. Or shall we say, Frank Ernest Strange's facts, right? Alright. I'm here to basically correct some things in terms of when I see people trying to make a distinction between this gentleman right here, okay, who's Jesse Womble, like I told you guys, that's the head of Jesse Womble, passed away in 1945. Yes, you guys are probably saying, well, how can I tie that from 1945 to supposedly 1956 when the Howard Menger conference took place, right? Okay, let me tell you something, guys. Uh, photo editing been in existence for a long time. Now, we're talking about since the 18s, 1800s, okay? So, if I can take you guys there right now and show you. Let's go to a quick archive real quick. Cause I want you guys to see something real quick, okay? Okay, these are these um, archives here. Hold on. Go to Wikipedia, okay, and look up photo manipulation, and then you guys will see something very interesting, okay? Just so you can see that editing photographs. Let me give you an example, like right here. You see Stalin standing with um, somebody there. I don't know who that is, but I oh I guess his name is Nikolai or something, right? Then you look at the following photograph. There's Stalin still standing the same as over here. And his buddy's missing. So, that just goes to show you guys that photo editing been in existing for long, many years, guys. Okay? Why do they do it? I don't know. I don't know why they need to edit photographs. Now, according to right here, okay... Here's an example. See, it says an early example of tampering was in the early 1860s when a photo of Abraham Lincoln was altered using the body from a portrait of John C. Calhoun and the head of Lincoln from a famous seated, seated portrait, portrait excuse me, by Matthew Bradley. Now, you guys see that's an example that it does happen. People use, you know, they edit photos in that manner. You know, they will use heads of people and put it on other bodies. Like, again, in this day today, they still do that. When you see supposedly a celebrity naked or doing something that supposedly they wouldn't really do, you know. But people making it sound like they would do it. Because they edited these photographs and make you believe it's really those celebrities. Anyways, that um, I just wanted you guys to see that so you can see that it does happen. That was something that been happening for many years, guys. It's not something that just started. And um, yeah, I, I want to really respond to that in terms of that video because when you're trying to, you know, when you're trying to analyze the Valiant Thor, as you guys saw, there's more than one picture. Okay, let me go back to it. When you're trying to analyze, you can notice that there's two different guys. And that's what I've been trying to show you guys, okay? But you guys keep missing what I'm saying. And that's why sometimes I like to try to slow it down. Because I think that when I say things, I think that a lot of people out there miss the point. Okay, look it. Here is a, is a, is a picture so you can see closely, okay? This guy right here. It's not the same guy that's over here. You know, you see, when you guys see that photograph like that, you know, of supposedly Jill, Dawn, and Valiant Thor, right? This is supposed to be Valiant Thor, right? Notice that the two gentlemen do not look the same. So, when I keep telling people, okay... That Frank Ernest Strange is based on the photographs that I have that prove it is him. I didn't say to you guys that this is him. I didn't say that's him. Because, see, that's the argument that people give me. They say, that does not look like Frank. And then I can say the same and say, yes, I know it doesn't. I never said he looks like Frank. I said that this guy right here, 
is the guy that looks like Frank, because it is Frank. Okay? Let me get a better photograph here. This guy right here, that's Frank. So if you want to make an analysis as to the hairline of Frank and this guy, you will see that they match. Now, if you try to match, like I saw someone do, okay, I'm not going to mention his name right now, but I saw him trying to match the, the faces of this guy and the hairline of Frank and his and the eyes and the nose and the ears and the mouth. But again, there is no match because it's not Frank. That's Jesse Womble. Did you guys not hear me the first time? Look at the hair. As you guys can see, Frank Ernest Stranger's hair doesn't look like that. All right? Valiant Thor, if you want to call him Valiant Thor, his hair doesn't look like that. Okay? He supposedly have a comb over, as you can see in this photograph. Right there. And quite some other ones, of course. See the difference hairline? Look at the hairline. Now you see how you got the wavy hair going the other the opposite end and you see a line right through his head. Let me let me let me show you where I'm talking about. Okay, so we're talking about right here. You see the line right here, the line right here. And again, sorry guys, I'm not a fucking computer genius, so you guys are gonna have to bear with me because again, you know, I wish I can do this photographs in in a way where you guys can understand more, you know, but again, I'm not a computer genius, so I'm just showing you the way that I can. If you, again, and I'm saying it clearly now so you can understand me, do an analysis with this man right here, with Frank, you will see that they match. Okay? Now you get it. You can't try to use the so-called Valiant Thor of this photograph, of this photograph. That is not Frank. That is Womble, Jesse Womble, like I told you guys. Okay, as you can see right here, it's the same face. See? Same hairline, nose, mouth, going back to Jesse Womble. The same guy. So what they did was, like I told you guys, Augustine Roberts altered the photograph so no one can see that the same gentleman is Frank. So why not use a dead man's head, right? An honorable dead man, that is, because, of course, Jesse Womble was well-known. You know, a very honorable man of the military. He gave his life for this country. And he died in 1945. And if you want to keep arguing about the Phil Snyder Valiant Thor, again, listen, guys. Phil Snyder did not come out with the story of Valiant Thor before Frank Ernest Strangers. Frank Ernest Strangers has been talking about this Valiant Thor story. We're talking about since the 1960s. So there's no way that you can say Phil, Phil is telling the truth just because he told you that Val been on Earth for 58 years. And But if then, if you study the story like I have, you will see that there's a lot of inconsistencies because, for one... The gentleman in the photograph does not have six fingers like he claimed, all right? There's two photographs that he had. That one is one of them. And then there's the other one where you have the gentleman, that gentleman right there, standing up, supposedly walking with a guy and a hat on. And you can see that it's not exactly what Phil Snyder said. But anyways, here, here's I want to make more uh, uh, examinations of these things, so I want to be clear with you guys. There's people on earth that are born with six fingers and six toes, okay? I'm sure a lot of you know that. It's like a disease of some sort. And, I mean, it's not like it happens every day, but, you know, it does happen. So there are people born with it. Again, you know, you, you if you listen to everything that Phil Snyder said about this so-called Valiant Thor um, character, you notice that there's a lot of things that didn't make no sense. Like, for one, he telling you that his dad told him about him. About the Val Valley and Thor guy, right? But then, on other videos, you see him saying that he got a chance to meet the guy. Now, you would think that if he got the chance to meet the guy, he would, like, give in his lectures more detailed information about him. Rather than talk about how many lungs he got and how big his heart is and, 
that doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you care about how big his lung is or how many he has or, you know, how many heartbeats he go, you know, he gets? I mean, who cares about that? I don't care about that. You know? And then the fact that he tried to say, well, see, again, you guys got to pay attention. He was saying something about the dude walks around in a space suit. Now, you can clearly look in this photograph and see the dude does not have a space suit on. And then this guy said that um, this Val Valley and Thor guy does not shake hands. Remember, uh, according to Frank, Frank says that the dude shaked his hand and it was soft like a baby and all that good stuff, right? Well, anyways, I already told you guys in, a, in my previous video when um, someone asked Phil Snyder, the, is he familiar with Frank Ernest Strangers? And he said yes. But then he did not discredit Frank, neither did he confirm Frank. Like, you know, whether he's telling the truth or Frank is telling the truth, because, of course, a lot of you know that, obviously, that man don't look like the one Frank been showing us. Right? <laughs> you got two different guys with the same name, Val Thor. The only difference is Phil Snyder say Val Valiant Thor. All right? And then he thinks just because his father was in the military... That he can pull that off by saying that that's some fucking Venusian from planet Venus. Why? Because the dude happened to be in the front row sitting by himself. Does that mean he's a Venusian? That doesn't confirm that he's a Venusian or a Martian or anything like that. Again, that's not enough evidence to prove that this, uh, this person that he claimed to have, you know, the big giant lung and heart and all this good stuff... That he was an extraterrestrial being. Alright. So again. No I do not believe that Phil Snyder was correct either. I believe Phil Snyder. Borrowed. Um, idea. You know ideas from. Frank Ernest Strangers. And because of course he claimed that. He himself. Was part of the government for over 30 years or so. Right. And so he just threw that out there by saying. Valiant Thor is real right. But then you guys are going to believe that bull crap when, when you, in fact, it's not. Because, if, again, you got to pay attention to, to everything that's out there on Phil Snyder. And you can see it doesn't make sense because he keeps changing the story. He changes the story every time from Valiant Thor six feet tall to uh, then he says Valiant Thor is eight feet tall. You know? Again, And then he, he goes to the point where he says that. He crash landed or whatever on Earth. He supposedly crash landed or whatever. Now, why would you say something like that? If Because he said that he got a privilege of talking to him one time. Okay. So, if you knew that he supposedly crash landed, he was guessing. Because why wouldn't you ask this so-called extraterrestrial questions? Not about how many lungs he have, how many tongues he have, or... His IQ or anything. I don't care about none of that stuff. Anyways, going back to what I was saying, if you guys try to do the facial recognition with this guy right here in August and, and um Frank Ernest Strangers, you're not gonna get an accurate reading on it because that is not Frank. That is Jesse Womble. And I know I'm gonna keep saying this, guys, and I'm gonna keep repeating it so you guys can see that that is not. Frank Ernest Strangers. There's two different men, okay, that they are showing you guys as Valiant Thor. One is the main character, which is Frank, and the other guy is Jesse Womble's head on Frank's body. Now, do you get it? The source that I got, okay, I got that from the, a source, a very good one, and... They are familiar with Argus C. Roberts. Let's just put it that way. So, that's where the information came from. That this facial man right here, the head, is of Jesse Womble. As you guys saw, the man passed away in 1945. This guy right here. It's the same guy. So, when you're trying to, when you're trying to do an analysis with his head, with the real Frank Ernest Strange's head... It's not the same because you see the hairlines do not match. Eyes and nose do not match. 
you have to do the other one. This guy right here. That's the guy right there. You know, so... I don't know. I mean, you guys want to keep playing around with this. Go right ahead, man. I'm going to keep showing you this story like it's supposed to be shown. It's a hoax. Okay? See, this is Jesse Womble. That is not Frank Strangers, guys. I never said that was Frank. And I'm going to keep repeating it. That is not Frank. That is Jesse Womble's head put on Frank's body. Look at the anomaly, okay? The hair there. There's an anomaly going on. You guys can't see it? That's just not all either. Remember the newspaper that shrinks? Come on, guys. That should tell you something right there. Come on, man. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know these things, guys. All right? Goodness. It's just sad, man, that, uh, you know, I was trying to show you guys that it's quite simple. Stop trying to use the Jesse Womble's head, you know, to, to try to pinpoint whether that's Frank or not. That is not going to be Frank. Different hairlines, guys. Different ears, of course. But when you do this guy right here, that's Frank right there. That's Frank right here. That one. The one sitting with the newspaper, with the huge newspaper. Not that little fucking newspaper that you guys see that almost vanishes on the photograph. And please don't go and say it's, a, it's an extraterrestrial disturbance on the, on the camera when they try to take photos. Because Augustine Roberts took a whole bunch. And then you see the funny part is, he just took the ones that he wanted you to see. So those are the ones he gave Frank, of course. You know, I mean, you guys are not paying attention to anything I'm saying, obviously, because for all those people that give me dislike on my on my uh, my videos, listen, and like I said, yeah, that's your opinion, and I understand, but obviously you're not opening your mind or investigating anything I'm saying because you're quickly judging me. You guys are not examining things the way I'm trying to show you how to do it. All right. So, if you go to the Saucerium Bulletin, all right, which of course you can get for free, PDF is for free. All you got to do is go to uh I'm going to show you guys right now, okay? You go to uf ufos.org, okay? You go to ufos.org where you will see a whole bunch of um small publications of those times like UFO alien publications. Uh, we go to the, it says early UFO PD articles. You go to that. Then you go to the Saucerian Bulletin. You'll see a whole bunch of different UFO books on here when you check. Oh, hold on. Yep. You'll see a whole bunch. You'll see Nexus created by uh, James Mosley. August C. Roberts worked with him. You, it, it goes, there's a whole bunch of them. All right, so let's go to the uh, Bulletin real quick. By Barker, of course. Then we go to November 15 of 1956. Watch this. All right, hold on. When you check that out, you guys will see something that's quite weird, all right? I showed you guys this before in another video where I said that August C. Roberts claimed that the photographs that... Howard Mender had appeared to be real, right? Now remember, we're talking about a guy who's a professional photographer, which he was known to be, yes. Okay? Why would he say that Howard Mender's photos are real? Because, look, right here it says, Robert says, Robert said they look pretty good. Why the hell would he say that Mender's photographs look pretty good when everyone else around the UFO field and their photographers, they would say that, no, it is not real. But then, it's quite, I, I just find it kind of funny that, you know, Agassiz Roberts, who worked for the Caesarian Bulletin, like I said, since 1953 all the way to 1962, why didn't he told his boss, you know, 
which is Gray Barker, that what he saw was bullcrap, you know, at Howard Menger's home. <laughs> but now you guys are going to still believe and say it's real, right? And then also, you don't see him talking about anything about no Valiant Thor either. That's another thing. If Valiant Thor was so real, why didn't he mention it to his boss from the Sosarian Bulletin? The Sosarian Bulletin was about UFO and alien phenomenon. Anywhere in, anywhere in the world, or any state in the United States, it doesn't matter. That's what the Sosarian Bulletin was about. It's about promoting stories that people had of abductions and stuff like that and you don't find it funny that Agassiz Roberts did not mention anything about no valiant Thor but you want to believe an old man who claims that Augie Roberts gave him the photographs of some supposed Venusian all right but then August Agassiz Roberts is not going to talk about it when he himself was into the UFO alien phenomenon Come on, man, guys. That doesn't make no sense. Like I said, if Howard Menger was the host at his own home, he would have said who were his visitors by name. Okay? He didn't say anything about no goddamn Valiant Thor. He didn't even confirm it when he was asked before his death, of course. He said he didn't even know there were Venusians. You know? It's like the typical response. Oh, they'll come and go whenever they please and all that. But no, here comes Frank Ernest Stranges, starts going and doing lectures and telling people that this guy is some Venusian from, you know, Venus, of course. <laughs> he walking around showing a photograph of himself and, of course, the head of Jesse Womble on his body on the other one. So again, so people don't start saying, oh, that's Frank. That's Frank. See? Again, go to Wikipedia and look up photo editing, all right? Like I just showed you guys, this goes way back to the 1800s, guys. Go way back there, man. Okay, so it's not the first time people use heads on someone else's body. They do that to this very day, like I said, where they use celebrities' heads and put it on other people's body. So with that, I close. Subscribe if you like. Comment if you like, like, hate, whatever.